All right, we are in Branson, Missouri, one of the top vacation destinations in the United States. And we're at the top of the city, the edge of the city, at uh, the end of a road called 76, what's it called? 76 Country Road. Mm -hmm. And basically it's like um, uh, Las Vegas Boulevard except for families. And we're going to drive down it. We have never been down it our, our before ourselves, so we'll be seeing it for the first time, as will you if you've never been here. But, uh, yeah, we're up at the Butterfly Palace, and we're going to drive down this road and see what Branson, Missouri is all about. Now, it's... Branson's one of the top vacation uh, cities in the United States. Nine, ten million visitors a year. And um, I've always wanted to go here. Never been here before. Interested to check it out. Yeah, that's a pretty good view from up here, isn't it? You can see everything. So anyway, this is um, 76 Country Boulevard. The main drag right here. We're just going to drive down it. We came in to Branson last night and uh, well, we stopped at Walmart. Mm -hmm. We stopped at Walmart and um, went to the room. So this is our first time exploring the town. The resort's really nice though, huh? Yeah, it's really nice. There's a lot of different things to do on there. It's Great cool. place to take kids. You can tell this place gets crazy in the summer. I'm kind of glad we're here in the off season. <laughs> But anyway, we'll come down out of these mountains, as they call them. Branson is set in the Ozark Mountains. I grew up in Utah, though. These are just hills there. <laughs> but anyway, How so... How many feet does it have to be to be a mountain? I don't know. These just look like big hills to me. Oh, you're from Utah. I know. <laughs> they have real mountains in Utah. But anyway, so here we are. We are this is the very outer part of the street we're just going to drive down it and check it out and see see what we see for the first time Ooh, French Quarter yeah French I, Quarter I thought that was in Louisiana <laughs> it is in Louisiana that's a pretend French Quarter oh, thank you for clearing that up <laughs> now Branson Missouri is the or at least they call themselves the music capital of the world so there are tons of theaters for music for live music there's a toy uh, what's this World's largest toy museum. And it's the dinosaur museum. Ooh. Yeah, this is the world's largest toy museum right here. I remember reading about that. It's right there. Alright, so are the toys the largest or is the museum the largest? It's the largest museum. <laughs> it probably has large toys though. <laughs> yeah, you can see lots of motels and stuff along right here. Off, huh? I don't know. <laughs> There's a looks like a water park. Obviously not open right now, huh? Yeah. Lots of water parks. Ew, it's middle of it. December, so not much swimming going along. I wonder what's going, going on with that Ferris wheel. That Ferris wheel, I believe, is an amusement park, Silver Dollar City. There's Dutton's, a, a music theater. There's tons of them here. Is it Grand all, Shanghai. Is it all country music, then? No, it's not all country music. Grand Shanghai Theater. Here's a theater that is not doing too good. <laughs> it's closed. Uh, Anyway, yeah, amusement park, Silver Dollar City, right there on the left. I'm pointing the camera at it now. I don't know if that's open or not, right? What, what are you looking at? Silver Dollar City, that's the amusement park in town. Oh, okay. And then uh, it's a big giant plane. Oh, that's a uh, miniature golf. That looks like fun, huh? Oh, cool. Now, here's a Ripley's, believe it or not. I don't believe it. Believe it. <laughs> that's cool looking, huh? Yeah. I don't know if that's open or not. I'm sure that would be open that's indoors. New Wave Cafe, what's this? Ooh, Retromania, yeah, that's like haunted house, movie museum, arcade, all kinds of stuff in there to do. Oh, it's retro. Kind it's of got like James we Bond. Because we're old. It's got James Bond up there on the, sh on the uh, balcony, huh? Yeah. Oh, some psychic. so tiny. <laughs> yeah. Some psychic palm readings, if you would like. I wouldn't. Oh, okay. Uh, Ozark's biggest and best drive through display. I don't know what that is. Now up on our left here. <gasps> it's the Titanic. Yeah, I didn't the know they raised it. This is like uh, 
you can see it pretty well. This is one of their second or third most visited attraction I'm reading. That's kind of cool looking. Is it like half of the ship? Yeah, it's half the ship. <laughs> but uh, they got a bunch of the stuff from the actual Titanic in there on display if you want to see it. So, there's that. They have the real the real things from the Titanic? Real things from the Titanic. Guy I went it down was there. Recreations. Oh, okay. This is an Italian restaurant, I think, with a huge meatball and fork. Wait, I'm still more interested <laughs> in the Titanic. Oh, look, it's King Kong. All right. Yeah, now this. Yeah, this is, a, is this a wax museum? Yeah, there it is, Hollywood uh, Max Museum. That's pretty big and crazy, isn't it? That might would be fun. And you remember when we were in uh, Myrtle Beach and they had that Wonder Works, that upside down building? Yes. They have one. Cool look at that, they have one here too. Oh, wow. Yeah, it's I read if they had though, one. Is it, is it different? It looks different, I think. There's right? another theater right there, music theater. Hmm. It looks a little different, I think. I saw a picture of it. Let's see. And I can't tell from here. But if you remember right, it's uh, an amusement park. No, it's the same. Well, it has museum. the pillars. It has the pillars like the one did in. Uh, yeah, it looks very similar. Yeah. But yeah, that's a museum mostly for kids. But it's supposed to be really interactive. But you're like a big kid. I am a big kid, I think. <laughs> now, there's a. This looks like a big octopus up here. Is that a big octopus? Okay, the aquarium. This is uh, an aquarium. That's kind of cool, huh? The giant yeah, octopus is, on the front. That is cool. <laughs> that is That's cool. a good idea. That's the way to get well, the kids in. Your theory, your theory on octopus. Uh, you say they're part. They're kind of aliens or something. Well, it's something about the DNA of octopus is unique to anything else on Earth. So they say octopus may be aliens. Yeah, may have came in on some sort of. Think about it. it does comet or something? Alien. But then again, a lot of a lot of sea creatures look really bizarre anyway. But still, they do. Uh, okay, this is like an indoor track for go-karts and stuff. Looks like fun. Oh, cool. There's like a lot of stuff here. Look at that. And we haven't even seen the lake yet. Look at this, <laughs> the chicken house. <laughs> the giant chicken. Yeah, now that's how you get the kids to say, hey, I want to eat there. Put a big giant chicken in front, right? I'm just glad we don't have any kids <laughs> saying that. I know, I am too. A lot of schlock down here, which I love. This 40s and 50s and 60s kitsch, if you will. Camp. That's my favorite thing in the world. Campy stuff. Which and what is this? What the Branson Coaster. Oh, cool. It's like a little mini amusement park. Oh, it's got a little roller coaster there. Hmm. Is it little? Yeah, it looked like a little roller coaster. Now, I would have loved to have come here as a kid. I would have had a blast. Yeah, big country music hall. There's all kinds of stuff over in fact, here. The place that we're staying at is like, they do timeshare there, which my parents did timeshare in Orlando. I would have loved this place. Yeah, this a lot of time shows you can change locations if you don't want to keep going to your one same place. So like I would have liked to have seen this place. It's I good. could totally see kids wanting to come here in the summer. Yeah. Yeah. Now this is Music City. This is one of the bigger uh, music theaters. It plays a lot of live music. It's one of the big, big ones. Mm -hmm. And that gold. Billy Bob's Dairyland. Huh? Billy Bob's. Yeah. Can't sound more country than that. Oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah, all kinds of stuff here, huh? Okay. All right, this Dolly Parton Stampede. Yeah, that's what we're looking at right in front of us. The kind of goldish building. Oh, is that what that is? Yeah, I knew Dolly Parton had a big theater here. Like Myrtle Beach, she has a big presence. Yeah, Dolly Parton Stampede. That's and not the only thing she has that's big. And there's Dick, Dick <laughs> Clark's bandstand. Yeah, we passed by that yesterday. <laughs> and then Fritz Adventure. Yeah, that's like indoor. Um... Oh, you're talking about zip line? Zip line, yeah, indoor zip line there. I want to do that. Fritz's. Yeah. I love zip lines. Okay. All right, so the light is green. We continue our journey into the town. Is this a more recent thing or has this always been like a big touristy place? Kind of. Branson's been around since 1988. It's named after a guy named oh, Reuben Branson who was the postmaster and he had a store here and I can't remember who it was that put a live music theater here and it just kind of exploded from there. See, because I have to admit, I'd, I'd never heard of Branson, Missouri before. You'd never heard of Branson? I'd always heard of it. No. Never been. 
Well, this I've is my first time. I've never been to Missouri in my life before we got here, and uh, I, I certainly haven't heard of brands in Missouri, so. Yeah, I've been to Missouri, but just Kansas City and St. Louis. I never, never been to Branson, but um, it's really gotten prominent over the past ten years, I suppose, as a huge vacation destination. And it, you know, this street here is just a, it's not, it's just a, a part of it. It's a huge lake here with lots of resorts on the lakes. Like you know, like we said earlier, we're actually staying on one of those. It's got all kinds of stuff to do on the lake and. It's got a thousand things to do, especially yeah. if you're like a teenager. I would have had a blast here. Water slide, all kinds of stuff at the hotel, or at the, it's not even really what you call a hotel, it's, it's a, a resort. resort. Yeah. It's a resort. All right, lights green. We're heading into the older part of town, it looks like. Oh, wow. I don't want to stay there. Huh? <laughs> yeah, old motel. see there's even a couple houses on this street wow and of course the old motel the visitor center now I did see this Branson visitor center US 76 so there's a obviously 66 but I guess there's a 76 too I don't think it's quite as famous as but can you get your kicks here? I probably can good get your kicks here. <laughs> um, oh, wait. So this is just more uh, about retail. Yeah, now we're just in a regular town. Yeah, it just looks like a regular town here, doesn't it? I know the biggest Christian theater in the country is here. I think we passed it. We might have missed it if you're into that kind of thing. All right, so here's the old downtown and um, the historic, old historic part of Branson. You can see the traffic's a lot thicker. <laughs> And at the edge or the end of the street is the the Branson Falls, or uh, I'm sorry, not the falls, the uh, fountain. Mm. They have a state-of-the-art fountain oh, along the river. Me. The river's right up there. Um, the people who built the Bellagio fountain in Las Vegas built this fountain as well. Oh, really? And it puts on a show once an hour, but it puts on the main show at 7 p.m. tonight. So we will. Be there we're gonna be there for that all right green light finally all right so historic downtown Branson lots of folks down here mr. B's ice cream lots of gray hairs <laughs> definitely an older crowd this time of the year hmm. we're seeing that a lot in our travels aren't we we're not seeing a lot of families we're seeing a lot of older people <laughs> makes us feel younger <laughs> yes, yes, while we're old, they're all older than us. All right, so the street. Oh, there's more stuff there too. Okay. Yeah, there's all kinds of stuff on here. here. The streets, we're almost at the end of the street here. You can see that Christmas tree, and then the fountains are on the other side of that, and the river's on the other side of that. Now, I believe there's free parking down here. Yeah, there is free parking. All these, none of them are requiring parking uh, paid parking I love that I love a town that doesn't make you pay to park it's one of our biggest expenses is parking some of these downtowns yeah especially like on weekends like $25 to park like screw that I know now supposedly there's a Paula Dean restaurant over here with a big parking lot so we're gonna go over to it and park there and then go check out this area here all right we finally got a green light so mm -hmm. We're going to you said go the this away. The fountains on the other side of that. Yeah, we'll yeah we'll go check them out here in a bit. But let's go let's go find us Paula Dean and park. Paula Dean. Now there's a woman whose food will kill you. 
I really thought it would be D E A N S. No, nope. right? Paula yeah. Dean, there she is, yep. Yeah, there's a lot of people already parked here. That big. Uh, what is it? Is it a restaurant, a store? What is yeah, it? Paula Dean is a restaurant. It's country it cooking. Is, that's I know, country stuff. I know, southern. but I didn't know if that was a restaurant or something. Yeah, that's that a restaurant. Sold. That big balloon there, I think you can go up in that. Oh, really? Yeah. Well, hopefully I can find some parking. Looks like we can. Yeah, it is a balloon. I guess you just ride it up to the top of that, huh? I guess. It's not open right now, though. So no balloon riding for us. <laughs> but we're going to go down through this area that looks like there's lots of shopping and restaurants. We're going to go check it out. Probably have a drink, a little food before it's all over. Paula Dean's Kitchen. Wow, look at all those gray hairs. <laughs> Alright, so we're walking through this promenade that's along the river in downtown Branson. Like I said, lots of shopping and restaurants. You could tell this place gets real busy in the summer. Not much happening now, though. Shipwrecked Treasure Museum. I'm looking at you. Well, I'm looking at you, mermaid. Woo! She's stacked. <laughs> should, we, should we check out that mermaid? And take a picture? No? All right, they have a tiki bar right here on the river. So, before we do any more exploring, we better have a drink. What do you think, hon? Sure. I hope it's warm over here, though. I don't want to go. I'm sick. Yeah. Now there's a first glimpse of the river. Oh, yeah. so, hmm. Oh, you can see the fountains there in the distance. Oh, yeah. So we'll get back over there in a bit. But we're going to pop in here and have a drink first. Well, you can definitely tell it's the off season. But these are still good drinks. Oh, yeah, definitely. <laughs> As you text away. I'm texting my daughter. Okay? Oh, okay. <laughs> of course. Our go-to Jack Daniels. <laughs> so there's the famed water fountains. We'll be back later for the night show. And of course I've got fountains here. My wife is running away from me over there. A little bit chilly today, mid-December, in South Central Missouri. This is a real nice area though. We're looking for a happy hour. You know, cheap drinks. That's what we're all about. Well, we're walking up the downtown area. I don't know if I can make it. Jesus. You this is wearing me more. out. You should work out more. I work out plenty. Yeah, I don't want to. It's women's dresses, but that's a beautiful building. Look at that lantern. That's awesome, huh? Yeah, Dick's awesome. 5 and 10. We're going to go into Dick's 5 and 10. This is real old school. In like the 50s. Mm -hmm. It's like a 50s or 60s kind of store. Everything's just crammed in here deep. Right? Huh? Everything's just crammed in here. <laughs> this reminds me of stores I'd go into when I was a kid in the 70s, early 70s. And of course it is Christmas. Look at this old jukebox. You think it works? I don't know. <laughs> this is what I want for Christmas. Oh, cool. One that looks exactly like this. Ask Santa. Okay. Wow, not for sale. Hmm, those things were not for sale. I kind of want that. I want this one too. When I was a kid, I'd go into stores like this. You never did? Mm -hmm. You're a little younger than me. This is what stores looked like when I was a kid. This is what Walmarts looked like. Oh, really? When I was a kid, yeah. Yeah, that Walmarts didn't look like what they look like now. This is what a Walmart would look like in the 70s. Hmm. Everything just crammed in deep, stacked high. Yeah, even the floor looks 
like they did when I was a kid. These old floors, even the floor looks, oh. bring back memories. This is what the floors would look like in these old apartment stores. And those counters look, look like old school. Well, that was a blast from the past. Watch out. <laughs> Ew. Yeah, that reminded me of being a kid. So. Well, I think it's time to head back down and find us a happy hour. What do you think? Sure. Is it happy hour time? What time is it? 3.45. That's very close to happy hour. All right, we're going to try Big Whiskey's happy hour, which is right here by the fountains. Whiskey on top. Big Whiskey's half off appetizers. That's saying my name. It's very quiet in here. There it is. Now that looks like a bar. We're inside the Big Whiskey Bar now and they have Jack Daniels for $4. Oh yeah. That's us, huh? That's speaking our name. That makes this place our new favorite bar. <laughs> At least in Branson. Well, our $5 appetizers have arrived. Because <laughs> we're cheap. But we like to have extra money to tip the bartender, don't we? So, so you got pretzels, mm -hmm. mustard, and cheese. I don't use the cheese. I use mustard. Yeah, and then I got uh, spinach dip. Yum. Well, we had a few drinks here at the bar, the whiskey bar. It's dark now, so we expect to see some cool fountain. Right? And Christmas lights. It's loud out here, huh? Woo! It's Christmas time. <laughs> wow. A lot of stuff going on out here, huh? Very loud. Whoa. There's a train. Add into the noise. A train going through the city. <laughs> Well, the big fountain show is about to start, so uh, we're going to check it out. Ah, oh, come on, it's not that cold. <laughs> awesome. Ooh. Wow, pretty awesome. They got a little bit of a light show already going on. Pretty awesome here. That's all I gotta say. Uh oh. Oh, look like it's getting ready to start. Well, maybe it's too Jack Daniels talking, but Branson really is a winter wonderland. Who knew here in rural Missouri? <laughs> Wife's over there and uh, she says she's cold, but it feels good to me out here. But, uh, this little light show looks really cool, even though this isn't the official light show that's coming still. But it looks really awesome. It's beautiful. All right, the show is getting ready to start. That's what you think, isn't it? It's quiet. Yep. That means the show is about to start. What are we waiting for? The show. It's keeping us in suspense, isn't it? We're still waiting. Still waiting for the show. I think we got 30 more seconds. What do you think?
All right, I don't know about this. You may know this. You may or may not know this, but I'm the world's biggest BG fan. They look you already know that, don't you? Since most of them are dead. They don't look anything like the BGs. They're gonna have to be awful good, because I love, I love me some BGs. Fortunately, we'll never be able to see them again because only one left alive. Indeed. It's indeed an Ozark Mountain Christmas. A little poster here. Make a splash in Missouri. You see that guy's looking up their skirts up their butts. You see that? <laughs> Did you even see that? Until you yeah, said it. totally. Where's That's that a lifetime memory. Is that like from the 40s? Very nice, huh? So it's very nice, huh? Uh huh. Freezing cold, but uh, nice and hot in the hot tub. I actually feel comfortable just sitting on the edge here with the steam rising up. Anyway, pretty awesome. Okay, we are finished here in Branson, Missouri, and it is time to review the hotel, the Suites at Fall Creek. It's actually not a hotel, it's a resort. Yes. Full-fledged resort. What do you think? I liked it a lot, Most, mostly positive. Um, I look, there's like a thousand activities, <clears throat> pardon me, a thousand activities, especially if you have kids, they would love it here. Even in, in the off season, there's still a bunch of things to do. They do, they actually have like an activity director that's on site all the time or most, most of the time. Mm -hmm. And um, so they do activities for like young kids old, and then older kids, they've got like pool games. Um, I don't know what I have, like foosball <laughs> tables mm -hmm. and and there's just a whole bunch of stuff and there's like a basketball court a volleyball court there's and then of course in the summer they've got like they've got activities on the water um they've got a big heated indoor pool an indoor hot tub and then they've got several outdoor hot tubs which we went to last night even though it's freezing cold outside <laughs> and they've got outdoor pools which are not open this time of year but the outdoor hot tubs were the gym is the gym is pretty good. It has the leg press that I like, so the gym is good. The only thing that bothered me, and I know bothered you too, was that um, they've got like stupid little charges here and there where they're trying to nickel and dime you, and it most places don't do that, and it just seems, it just seems dishonest because the room itself wasn't that expensive to begin with. I would rather know the price up front instead of being like, hey, we tacked on this extra charge afterwards. Hey, we tacked on this extra charge. You know that's bullshit. So that was my negative. Since the charges weren't that big, I'm not gonna, it's not gonna be a big negative, but that was a, a little niggling thing yeah. for me, so. Yeah, the hotel, or the resort is really nice. It's lakeside, so uh, they have, you know, activities where you can get out on a lake, of course, in the summer. Most, of, a lot of the stuff, outdoorsy stuff is closed, obviously, because it's winter, mm -hmm. but uh, the hot tub, the outdoor hot tubs are nice, and, um, of course, there's no breakfast here, but they didn't advertise it. But like she says, they kind of nickel and dime you. Uh, when we get or when we got here, they charged just an extra eleven dollars a night for a resort fee. Just put it in the bill. Yeah, that's just annoying when you think you're paying a certain amount. You get here and then they say, "Oh, by the way, here's a little extra charge." Yes, I mean it's not a lot of money, but it's just annoying. Another thing that's that was annoying is the Wi-Fi. They only let you run two devices at once. So I've got a phone, she's got a phone, I've got my laptop, she's got her, her iPad, we're trying to get stuff done, and you have to turn something off so you can use the other device. Or pay extra money, that was the Or pay them $6 a day per device. I mean. It's per device? I per was just thinking device. that, right? oh wow, I didn't realize it was per and device. And that's just. Wow, I thought it was just per day flat. No, oh, and wow. that's just annoying because this is 2021. Okay, come on. Every hotel we go in, you can put all your devices on, on the internet and they don't charge you. This is one of the very, very few places that do that. Come on, it's not 2003, it's 2021. Get with the program. It's just it's irritating. It's nearly 2022. Only nearly like 2022, two more weeks, right? yep. Wow. But anyway, other than that, the place is real nice. It's got a nice little kitchenette so we could cook food and apparently uh, apparently they do timeshare in here and it's funny because before I really knew that I was like wow this reminds me of the timeshare we had when I was a kid I was like but it's actually even has more things to do and I was like wait that's right it is a timeshare place so yeah you can timeshare if you want of course we're not but no but as you know kids would love it you know kids would love this place I would uh, loved it all right so what did what's your rating in? oh okay so um 4.2 I'm gonna do four because the, the uh <laughs> Everything's the good. But, you a yeah, the, bit more. well, the two the little charges are annoying, and the Wi-Fi things are really annoying. I'm having to 
<laughs> log off one device to get on another to get work done. So, yeah. okay. stupid. All right, that's it. So we are heading to Tulsa, Oklahoma next, and that is the town I was born in, oh, my no. hometown. Oh no, ghosts of the past. Yep. <laughs> haven't, I actually haven't been there in a while. So anyway, be looking for that video. We'll see Way you then. Way in the past. Mm. <laughs> All right, we'll see you then. Bye.